Now for the Freedom and Democracy Group, Nigel Farage. President, thank you. Since I was last here, I've suffered some small ups and some rather dramatic downs, uh, perhaps rather like the Euro. The difference, of course, is that I'm going to get better. Um, and looking at the faces in this Parliament today and hearing the tone of voice, I suspect that the Euro's problems now may well be terminal. The, the folly of your policies has already blighted the lives of tens of millions of people in Europe, and it now threatens to blight hundreds of millions of people. This whole project was based, of course, on a lie as Mr. Van Rompuy has admitted. It is perfectly clear that economically it doesn't work. But interestingly, politically, it can't work either. The, nobody ever gave consent for this project. There is clearly no such thing as a European identity. And why should the Germans work hard to pay for the Greeks? It simply isn't going to work. Mr. Barroso, the whole thing is headed in the wrong direction. Greece, Spain, Portugal... They don't fit inside this economic and monetary union. And what they actually need is help, help to break free from this economic prison of nations before we, we, we create something truly catastrophic. And yet what's on the table tomorrow is the proposal for yet more centralised power. The very people that have put Europe in the mess that it's in want more power for themselves. They want to compound these errors. If you go on down this route... You threaten not just the economies of southern Europe, but you threaten democracy and peace itself. We're at a crossroads. We need to turn back. People need national control over their currencies and over their economies. This isn't working. Thank you very much, Mr. Farage.